I'm Toby Emmert. I am a professor in the Department of Theater and Dance, and I've been a faculty member at Agnes Scott for 17 years. So I'm coming to you this afternoon from our costume shop. You can see behind me some of the costumes that we have in storage for our shows. When we do a show, this is one of the first places that we come and sort of sort through what we have here to see if there's something that might be in this room that could be useful for the show. The show that I'm about to direct has a very sort of eccentric character in it. It's the character's name is Granny, and we're going to costume her in a very um, sort of outlandish way. Uh, basing her somewhat on a sort of fashion icon. Her name is Iris Apfel. You may not know her, but you might want to look her up. Uh, she's, she's a 100-year-old fashion icon living in New York City, and she has a, a, a rows and rows of costumes just like the ones we have here in her own storage. And so we always start here um, to, to see if we can begin to make the character based on the things that that character is going to wear. The theater department at Agnes Scott offers a full range of dramatic courses, and the dance department does as well. You can be both a theater major and a dance major, so both of those are possibilities. Uh, the theater department has acting, directing, uh, performance work, some technical work, as well as some courses that I would call are sort of ancillary, like we have some performance-based courses. So for example, I teach a course that's called Performance Approaches to Literature for Children and Young Adults, and in that course we are translating children's picture books and also young adult novels uh, for the stage, and so that work is more sort of stylized, we would call that. We develop readers' theater scripts and performances, as opposed to full stage productions. We also do some educational theater work, so thinking about what we would call theater for youth or theater for young audiences. And so you could look at almost any aspect of theater at Agnes Scott. I have a couple of classes that I really enjoy teaching. One of them is a digital storytelling class, and that class is theatrical in nature in that we're working on stories, but the products that we're creating are always film-based. So generally in that class, the students generate three projects, and they make three or four very short films, like two or three minutes each. Um, and each film has a particular kind of purpose or idea that's behind it. I love teaching that course. I've been teaching that for a long time. It's always a favorite of a lot of the students. I also really enjoy the course that I'm teaching this semester, the performance course, uh, the translation course, where the students are taking a children's picture book, that's where we started, and they're reimagining what that would look like if it were um, a staged piece for young audiences. And it's hard, that's really difficult work because it takes a lot of imagination to try to figure out how you take the visuals, because picture books are often very reliant on visuals, and how you reimagine a visual uh, is something that becomes a performance piece. Uh, so the work is hard, but I think the students really enjoy it, and the, the ultimate productions that they create are a lot of fun to watch. So that, that's, the whole process is enjoyable, and of course the final piece is, is interesting as well. There are ways to be involved in theater that are not just taking classes or being a major. There is an on-campus organization for students called Black Friars that um, is, is mostly student run with faculty assistance and faculty input and that organization is uh, it's designed to help us put on the productions. They also do some other work uh, on the campus and so you can be involved in any number of ways in theater on, theater on the campus that's not just specific to the theater department. Dance as well, uh, there's a dance company on the campus, that's part of our department, and people can be involved in the company who are not necessarily dance majors, if they're just interested in dance, um, in the same way, uh, as well as taking classes, there are lots of really interesting classes, and we have actually quite a lot of interest in the dance classes among people who are non-majors uh, on the campus. It's nice to be in a big city like Atlanta. It, there's a fairly good theater scene here. We have the Alliance Theater, which is a professional theater company in town. There are several other uh, sort of smaller uh, experimental theater companies. There's one on the west side called Actors Express. Uh, downtown, there's uh, Outreach, uh, the Horizon Theater. There are a bunch of opportunities uh, uh, in the community. If people are interested in sort of uh, professional opportunities. We've developed internship opportunities with a couple of um, organizations. There's a women-run theater in town called Synchronicity Theater. We have a very particular partnership with them, and so they're involved in the spring scale work. So that's one of the organizations that students can go and do an externship with for one week. And then we also have um, some internship opportunities with them. The, the community at large is, there are many, many opportunities for people to be involved in theater in Atlanta. And in terms of just 
performing, but also just going to the theater. You know, there are lots of things that people can go and see. I think one of the benefits of attending a small college in general is that the opportunities, especially for somebody who's interested in performance work like theater or dance or music for that, uh, for that matter, uh, the benefit is that there are many, many more opportunities than one might have if you went to a larger school, where the competition, for example, for roles is generally quite, quite tough. At Agnes Scott, of course, there's competition for any role that we would have here in the theater department. We always have auditions, but the possibility of your getting to be involved um, is, is stronger. And so for any given show, there are many, many possibilities in terms of uh, ways that students could be, be connected to the production. And maybe you're just not on stage, but you're interested in props or costumes or technical work, etc. There are so many things that, that are involved in every show. Every show is a huge collaboration. And at a place like Agnes Scott, almost anybody who has an interest can find some role to play um, in the show that's going on. And that's not always the case in a much larger institution where the, um, the competition for those kinds of roles is stronger because there are more people vying for them. I think one of the other things that I might say is that there are several stages on the campus. In the, in the Fine Arts Building, which is called Dana, there is a sort of traditional stage called Winter Theater. There's also an outdoor performance space as part of the Fine Arts Building, which is not used that often, but we have that as a space. There is an amphitheater, like an outdoor amphitheater, literally right outside our building. And then the music building, which is called Presser, also has a more traditional kind of auditorium that seats over a thousand people. Uh, some of our performances are held there, especially the dance concerts. And then we also have a smaller uh, auditorium space in the, in the in Presser that's called McLean. So there are lots of different kinds of um, performance venues on the campus. And I think that, that um, it gives us a sort of the possibility of offering a range of kinds of performance performances to, to the, the campus community, but also to the, the greater community, to Cater and the greater Atlanta community as well.